My, good evening. My name is Patricia Swalje. I'm a resident of Monroe, and I'm also a senior citizen. Uh, I am on a fixed uh, income, so I'm all about the budget. Um, I, I am not um, going to make any comments to Dr. Chanley about the fact that she's rising for, asking for a raise and a contract extension. My comments are to the school board because you are the ones that are going to be voting on this raise and this contract extension. When you know that you are also went to the state to ask for, to go over the 2% cap in your school budget. All right, so that's number one. Number two is um, Dr. Chanley is, in my opinion, well compensated. Um, uh, what she had presented here today is her vision. It's nothing that's quantifiable because it's in the future. Future kindergarten, and future this and future that. It's a vision. It's not quantified yet. There's nothing that I'm hearing from the school board or in this presentation that is showing what is quantified since Dr. Chanley became the superintendent of schools. Uh, I looked up her budget presentation from uh, 2022 to 2023, and now the, the new one from 2023 to 2024. Um, key budgetary considerations have not changed between the two budgets, and they are the aging facilities, increasing enrollment, New Jersey student loaning standards, student-teacher ratio, and the tax impact on the community. So since Dr. Chanley recognizes that there is a need to consider the tax impact on the community, you as board members should also, before you vote on this contract, she put it in her budget considerations, key budgetary considerations, the impact on the community. Because the funding for the school board comes from people like me. It comes from the taxpayers. Now, as far as aging facilities go, I don't, I don't see where there's a plan um, to address that. Uh, you've got as a vision full day kindergarten. I, I feel like that's pine this, that's a that's a vision, that's a nice thought, but with all that needs to be addressed with the uh, maintenance in our existing facilities, I don't see that happening anytime soon. The fact that Dr. Uh, Chanley in her presentation kind of presented that she needs an, a five-year extension on her contract because we need to have a superintendent that's in place uh, for a, a, a certain period of time to fulfill um, visionary, I guess, ideas. Um, I would like to see something that's quantifying what she's done now. Uh, she's well compensated as far as vacation days, sick time, personal days, that, that totals 35 uh, days. There are 26 holidays in the school year. So all in all, that's 61 days of um, uh, off. Uh, health benefits, she gets the insurance company that does the teacher's health benefits is the same uh, for the superintendent, but the plans are different. She gets an iPhone. She gets paid mileage. She gets compensated for attending uh, six different uh, organization conventions, conferences. So we don't know how many since she superintendent has she gone to and what has been that cost to the school district. Does Dr. Chanley also get a life insurance policy as part of her compensation? Do we pay into her pension plan? Those are, those are questions that I have. Um, are those benefits going to be increased with this new contract? Uh, just to put this into perspective, the governor of New Jersey is making $175,000 in his base salary. Um, Dr. Chanley is at the moment for making $205,705. Thank you for your comments.